All right, today we're going to make a little short video on how to remove and reinstall primary clutch on a Can-Am Defender. The operation should be the same from 16 to newer. This is a, a 21. Before we get too far into it, don't forget Hunterworks belts, best on the planet. Make sure that you subscribe, like, uh, and ring that bell down there so you're notified of new stuff. All right, so to get to this point here, we have two more videos, how to remove the clutch cover, how to change a belt, and uh, Hunter, who edits our videos, will put links in the description below to those two videos so you'll be able to follow along and get to this point. And also, we're fixing to get started here. All right, so first thing you're going to need is a 22 millimeter socket. Now, oddly, most so socket sets just go to 21, and somewhere along the way this year, I bought this deep socket, and I wish I had a, a shallow. And I am using impact to get it off. Still think that's the best method. There's not a lot of room up in here, and it can't. that's why I wish I had a shallow socket. Okay. So once you get it out of the crankshaft, you're gonna see that it won't, it won't come out. There's another set of threads in the primary clutch, and the primary bolt must be screwed through the clutch. I'm not a fan of this design at all. Um, I think Polaris has a beat in this area. My threads, uh, a little rough, but just continue through the threads until you get your bolt completely out. All right, bolts out. Then take your puller and screw it in. We offer these pullers on our website, Can Am Defender page. You'll find this puller. All right, the puller we have is a three quarter inch. I'm still using an impact. Look at there, it popped right off. All right. Since we don't have a lot of room, once you get it loose, then just unscrew your puller back. Now, once the puller's unscrewed, then you can grab your primary clutch and pull it off. All right, so we're actually just putting this one right back on. Hopefully, you are pulling it off to install a clutch kit from us or do some maintenance and maybe use some of our needle bearing grease. So we put it back on and you take your bolt and you screw it back in. Got to go through the clutch's threads first. All right, so now we're back into the crankshaft threads. Get it on here. Now you're gonna freak out when I do this, but don't. I'm gonna hit it a little bit with my impact. All right, the reason I did that is because we're gonna to be torquing this to 89 foot pounds plus or minus six. And once again, I wished I had um, a short socket. And I hate I'm doing a video with an improper tool. I would have a short 22 millimeter. You're gonna be doing like so. And you're gonna have the Hunterworks, uh, we'll call it the universal clutch holding tool and find a good spot that it can be solid and get your pressure on it and start tightening. And when I get it real close, then I'm gonna take two hands and get on my torque wrench for proper leverage. There it went, you hear it? All right, 89 foot pounds. Hunter works to work. All right, so that was, sometimes I think these videos are a little crude, but you have to consider where we're at, where we're working with. And just like you, you know, we don't always have the exact tool. I wish I had a short 22 millimeter socket. It's not something I had, but you know, I've said for years around here is that, you know, if we showed you 100% everything accurate, professional, you may not have it here. What am I gonna do? So, you know, hey, we're just like you and we work with what we have sometime. I'm big on impacts in certain ways and certain times, certain uses, because I'm lazy. Uh, it sure does make things move along quicker, but these Can-Am clutches uh, really do need to, torque, to be torqued properly. Uh, that's why we came out with our holding tool that you saw us use. We'll have a link below to get to that tool. 
Uh, the puller, we don't make this one. This is the one we sell, but it's a dang good puller. That'd be a link for that. And on a works belt, best on the planet. Uh, doing this video made me think about a, a guy one time who says, oh, you're selling stuff. Yeah, but we're showing you how to do stuff in the process. So anyway, uh, if you got any questions or any concerns about anything, shoot me an email, Todd at unawards.com.